Hi, I'm Jenny, back with this week's entertainment news. October 31st is almost here, and that means ghouls, witches, and zombies are gathering for Halloween. If you're looking for some spooky movies to get into the holiday spirit, check out classics like It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Monsters, Inc., The Nightmare Before Christmas, Coraline, and Hocus Pocus. For those of you planning on turning a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern, be sure to draw your pattern on a piece of paper rather than on the pumpkin, in case you need to erase. Also, be sure to get a pumpkin kit for some user-friendly carving tools and store your pumpkin in a cool, dry place. Then, when you go out trick-or-treating, wear bright, reflective costumes or strips to be visible to traffic. See with a group of friends or adults and don't eat candy if the wrappers are damaged. Um, um, um. Two San Francisco radio stations banned Lord's Grammy-winning single, Royal, this past week as the hometown Giants mm -hmm. took on the Kansas City Royals in the World Series. Not to be outdone, Kansas City radio station 99.7 made sure to play the song every hour from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Tuesday, the opening day of the World Series in Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Although this may seem like unrelated sports fun at the expense of an innocent Lord song, the New Zealand singer has said that Royals was actually inspired when she saw a ball player with Royals on his shirt. That player was none other than retired Royals third baseman George Brett, who played 21 years in the MLB for the Kansas City team. And we'll never be Toymaker Hasbro has announced that their film division will be making a My Little Pony movie releasing in 2017. What started as a line of plastic pony toys in 1983 has enjoyed a surge in popularity recently thanks to the animated TV series My Little Pony Friendship is Magic in 2010. The upcoming movie will be co-executive produced by Megan McCarthy who helped create the successful TV show. <laughs> now for some entertaining sports news. 38-year-old Denver Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning seized the NFL touchdown crown from Brett Favre last week with his 509th career touchdown against the San Francisco 49ers. Manning's record-breaking throw came after 17 seasons, 269 career games, and 8,659 career passes, cementing his place in football history. Decaf! Lunch? Decaf! $12. Nickelodeon's The Legend of Korra is an incredible animated series, but its video game adaptation is a major disappointment, with a boring storyline, punishing difficulty, and awkward level design. Like its TV inspiration, The Legend of Korra follows 17-year-old Korra, who can bend the four elements of Earth, Water, Air, and Fire as the reincarnated Avatar. Unlike the award-winning show, with its emotional voice acting, engaging characters, and exciting plot, this dull third-person action game is just a repetitive slog, as Korra tries to get her powers back from the evil villain Hundun. You'll basically wander through unimaginative and narrow environments, fighting through arena-like battles against swarms of baddies that's frustratingly difficult. When you're not being punished by awkward combat mechanics, you'll be forced into mind-numbing mini-games, like riding on Korra's polar bear dog, Naga, through collectible-filled tunnels. As a huge fan of the show, I was very disappointed by this game, which manages to make the four to six hours it takes to beat it feel way too long.